Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearning Art. Today I'm going to show you how to create this spotlight effect in PowerPoint using only PowerPoint shapes. And it's something that I saw from uh, uh, an example that Jackie Van Nice did. And let me show you the final course that she had here. It was an, an example for her uh, Cop versus Kid course. Um, I will show you how to do this step by step. And if you think this is a useful type of tutorial, please go ahead and like the video right now. It really helps me figure out what I should be doing more uh, tutorials for. I will give you the source files so that you can follow along with this lesson. Um, so they're there in the show notes, or you can just uh, click on the link and download those files. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into this. So let's, let me go back here. This is what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to open the selection and visibility pane um, so that you can see the different layers. It's basically just uh, rectangles and a freeform shape um, with some semi-transparencies and some effects. So let me just go ahead and start with a blank slide and let's go ahead and, uh, and do this. So I am going to um, create my wall, baseboard, and floor, which is something that I learned from David Anderson. But let's go ahead and you know, say this is going to be my wall and let's make that pretty dark and get rid of the outline and I like to name everything in the selection of visibility pane it makes it easier to work with wall okay now let's make the floor I'm gonna hold shift or control to duplicate that when I click on it and we'll make this the floor and let's see how did Jackie have it? The floor looks like it's the darkest element. So let's uh, let's go ahead and name this the floor. And we'll make that even darker. And then we're going to make the baseboard. So hold control, drag it, and that will duplicate it. And let's make that maybe somewhere in between those two. Like that. That baseboard looks a little bit off. So something like that. And how big do we need the floor to be? We need the floor to be a lot bigger. So let's go ahead and shift everything up. So dragging that up to there. Oops. There we go. All right. So that gives us some depth there. So now uh, what we're going to do is add that spotlight effect in. And what I'm going to do is start with a circle. And let's go ahead and... Draw that out like so. I made it an oval and you just kind of guess at how the shape would look when it hits the floor. Um, let's make that, actually I'm gonna right click and format shape. And let's make it white. And you know what, I'm going to name it as well. So this is circle spotlight. And let's get rid of the line, no line. And the fill, we want a semi-transparency and so that some of the background comes in there. And yeah, maybe like that, that looks pretty good. Okay, um, now we'll do an effect and we're gonna do soft edges and That's starting to look, you know, maybe like what a spotlight would look like. So I have that at 15. Okay, great. We'll adjust that in the next step. Um, now I want to do, draw the freeform shape, which is going to be the light that's coming in. Actually, this is kind of annoying me. Um, I want more space to work with. So let's draw our freeform shape. So click the freeform shape there. And I'm going to take it kind of right to the middle of this. To there. And then we're going to make it we come up at this angle. We'll make it a little bit smaller than the base. And then once that, wait, there we go. And that highlights. Oh, where'd it go? Come on. There we go. All right. So I have a little nick there. I'm just going to leave that. It's okay. Um, so now let's go ahead and format this shape again. And we're going to do the same thing. Actually, if I wanted to do something really fast, I could just grab this. I could control shift C to copy the format, control shift V to paste the format, and it pulls that in. Now, I know that's not quite what I want to do. 
Um, but it actually gets me pretty close. If I, I bet if I just tweaked it from here, let's try it. Make it a little wider. Let's see what I'd done before. I had a transparency of 39 on this one, so I really made this shape more transparent. So let's let's format it again. Format shape, transparency, let's make it. Oh yeah, that's starting to look a lot better. Yeah, because it's the light. So it's not really hitting the wall, it's just what's in the air. So I'll take that to 40 something. All right, so now it's just going to be a little bit of tweaking um, to get this to line up the way that you want. So I think we even want a softer edge. Let's go ahead and format again. We'll go to soft edges and we'll crank that up. Oh, that's looking pretty good at 30 there. All right, so now you'll see the sizing isn't quite right. All right, so we're just going to drag it until we get roughly what I want. That looks pretty good, and then I'll make it a little taller. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll make it a little wider. I'm just be picky. Okay, so I think that's that's pretty good. So you, now you can drop some characters in there, um, and you can adjust it however you, much you want. So I see Jackie's got you know a really big one there, so I could do. Maybe I'll just grab both and let's group it. And now let me see what happens when I make it wider. There, oh, that looks pretty good. All right, so by grouping it together, it kind of keeps that scale the the way that I'd want it. Or I could go directly into here. Make that a little wider. That's pretty good. Anyways, um, I do have a, a special bonus for you as well. Um, and uh, you, if you like these types of lessons, I encourage you to subscribe to the video uh, or to my channel so that you can get more updates. I do a lot of design tutorials in PowerPoint. Um, and uh, I also have the special bonus download that you can click on the link for here. And I have three other videos that I thought you might find uh, interesting, so feel free to click on any of those if they're of interest to you. And if you made it this far, I, of course, appreciate uh, if you liked the video, It's if you found it useful. It's really what helps me determine the types of videos that I should be creating, and it would mean a lot. So thank you so much, and you have yourself a wonderful day.